Massachusetts public school students must pass English, Math, and Science tests of MCAS to receive a high school diploma. College student Annalise Bruno says her experience with the MCAS was not pleasant. I'm remembering high school most. My teacher used to make us like do these packets every week, and it was horrible because they were for a grade, and it was like you'd have to do a set of multiple choice, and then like a long essay question. But the essay part, just the kind of writing you do, isn't something you really do in the real world. I find like I don't ever remember like the MCAS format being used in college ever once. So to me, it was really a tedious process, and I didn't like it. A vote on yes will require students to complete district-approved courses to show that they have met state academic standards, while a vote on no will keep the MCAS as a graduation requirement. Ariel Tickner Wagner, a professor focusing on educational policy studies at BU, provides a new perspective on this question. But you can make policy to make new <laughs> statewide graduation requirements, right? That could potentially kind of you know provide more opportunities for students that could be more aligned、um, with what they'll need to be able to succeed both in college and career. A report by the Anberg Institute at Brown University in July suggests that English learners and students with disabilities are the majority of those who initially failed the MCAS. The president of Massachusetts Teachers Association. Max Page takes this factor into consideration. A very poor student、um, who maybe doesn't have enough food to eat or has had to move several times, he he or she is, will just have a harder time learning. It's just a fact. Whereas a very, you know a much wealthier student has all kinds of supports and things, it makes it easier to succeed in school. And we have to address that inequality. The voting result will not remove the MCAS from public schools. But will determine whether students need to pass the exam to graduate. Your vote will decide the future of public education in Massachusetts. Reporting from State House, I'm Wang Hengjiang for BU News Service.